Today I'm going to show you what to do with the maintenance free sealed battery when you need to put fluid in it. Now the reason we had to put fluid in this battery, this is a brand new battery that was dropped. So we got it for nothing. And I had a hole right in the bottom there where it hit the ground. And lost some fluid out of one cell. So I put it on its side and put JB Weld on it, that's dried. Then I had to open it up to put the fluid inside and after a few cuts with a cutting wheel I found the six cells, I filled the uh, levels up, put it on the battery charger and it charged up well. Now we've got to seal this. So what I'm going to do is clean up all these uh, these rough bits here, clean all them up, and then all the little pieces that I cut out, I'm going to put them back, and with a black hot melt glue steel, uh, stick, I'm going to seal that battery back up. Then we'll put it in the car and see how it goes. Just a safety tip before we start. Because uh, there's like acid in the battery, put on the latex gloves. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use this knife to just carefully get rid of all that. But first, I'll clean up the ones around here very carefully so that nothing falls inside the, the battery and then I'm going to tape this up with electrical tape and then I can go a bit harder on this one here and when it's all done I'll clean up all these little pieces here too see how they've got the little dags on them and the reason I'm using the black uh, glue sticks is because they go on the colour and the lighter the colour it is of the glue stick the softer it is so the black one is the hardest one and also it'll match the case because I've had to peel the sticker off there to see if we could try and like flip that up with a screwdriver and you can't because it's all sealed. So the only way to open it is with the uh, the cutting wheel. And we'll just go a little bit further and then we'll show you how we go. Now I'm almost done. Now, it's a bit hard to videotape the uh, the hot milk glue gun because I'm on my own today. I might invest in a little tripod or something to hold the phone. But I'll just try and see. I was just holding the corners in, waiting till it's set, and then when it's held in place, just gentle, just a little bit going rock cross like that until she's sealed. Then you just keep going on to the next bit. So you think she's sealed. Not putting a lot in there. And I'm not going to cut this back either because it'll probably be stronger if I leave it just raised up like that. It doesn't look too bad. Just run along there, try to make it continuous. Yeah, we tried popping this lid off with a uh, screwdrivers and stuff, and it's not. It's all bonded together. And I thought, well, the battery's ruined. So what's it going to hurt to try and fix something from nothing? So we'll, it's going good so far. The one thing I have noticed while the battery's been sitting here is the little corner repair where I put the JB Weld. I don't think the JB Weld is acid proof because it's got a little tiny dot of uh, acid coming out. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little tiny dot there where I've moved the battery. So what I'm going to do when I finish doing this uh, sealing with the hot melt glue gun, I'm going to put the battery on its side. 
uh, chisel the JB Weld off and try and see if the uh, hot milk glue gun will seal it. I was going on about the safety gear at the start of the video with the latex gloves and the safety glasses which has got the hands and the eyes covered but I forgot to mention the safety crocs with shoes very important to protect the feet. Now, there's just a little tiny bit there that's got to be sealed. Now the good thing about hot milk glue gun is it sets up in about 15 minutes. And then we can put on its side and repair the uh, Let's see if I can show you here. I'll just lift that off there. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there it is there. It's got a little tiny leak of acid. I'm not really happy about that. So in a few minutes we'll put this on its side and we'll chisel the JB weld off. Okay, it's all cleaned up. All the little pieces are cleaned up and that's all the rubbish that came off the top. Now I'm going to seal it up with the black stick hot melt glue gun. And we'll show you how that looks. Okay. Put the back trap on the side. And you can see there... The JB weld is just worn through just by placing it on the concrete, so that wouldn't have been a very good repair anyway. So now I'm going to chisel that off and hit it with the hot milk glue gun. There it is sitting on its side. I'll try not to keep it there too long, but you can see there's no leaks. So that looks pretty good. So we'll go with take two on, on the repair on the, uh, the leaky battery. Okay, I've got the JB Weld off, and I've used the JB Weld on a lot of repairs, and this is the first failure I've had. So what I might do here, before I hot melt glue that, I might just try and plastic weld it, just by using the heat of the uh, hot melt glue gun, and a cable tie, and then I'll put like a rubber mat or something underneath it. To protect it and we'll see how it goes a bit of a rethink on the uh the battery repair this corner here was pushed out a bit too far so what it is i got the the heat gun and soften this up and just push that back into shape and then when it closed the gap up i got the soldering iron and a cable tie and i just welded it all back up with the cable tied, I've just tested it, it's not leaking. But what I'm gonna do is just to give it another bit of uh, extra layer, I'm gonna put the hot melt glue gun over that. So the hot melt glue gun is not actually holding anything, the cable tie is holding it. And the uh, hot melt glue gun is just an extra layer of protection. We'll see how it goes. Well, there it is. With a layer of hot melt glue over the cable tied weld repair we're just going to let that cool right off i've already checked that it doesn't um doesn't leak with the cable tie on this just to give it a bit of extra uh, protection then we're going to put it in the car and see if it works okay is it ready for the big test we're stuck it in uh 2005 mazda 3 
There's the volt reading, 2.61. Now we'll go around and start it. And see what it does. Okay, so far so good. Okay, sounds pretty good to me. Now I'm just going to see what's charging it. Fourteen point three. Just hanging in there. Let's see how long it lasts. Thanks for watching. See you next one.